you get the ordinary run of the mill uh, magician and they just become so boring and he does it entirely different. The guy on the football show. Oh, and I have seen Phil Cass on the midday show. Yeah, terrific. You can trust Phil. <laughs> So take a seat on the electric chair, if you will. It's electric, but don't panic about it. It's just a hot seat, so to speak. You feeling okay? Fine. You don't remember falling out of a hearse, do you? No. No. <laughs> hey, come on. Come on, take a seat. Come on, come on, take a seat. Seriously. I did say it was electric, now didn't I? Resist. Not oh, can't. Okay. <laughs> Why would I do that when I can do this? You know. <laughs> You've got to give things a test. All right. Mm. What would you like done to your clothes? You've got a free choice. Fire or scissors? Fire. No, we're going to use the scissors. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the story you're about to see is true. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. <laughs> will frown and that will bring everybody down so don't worry be happy what do you do for a living Ian? I'm a policeman <laughs> don't worry be happy that's it practical joke That will bring everybody down So don't worry Be happy Trust me when I tell you Phil Cass is a superb entertainer and the best comedy magic act in Australia Don't worry Actually I better show you something just before we go any further What we might have to do here is a little bit of uh, a sleight of hand So what we'll do is basically <laughs> That's a trick, mate. <laughs> We're gonna do another one now. <laughs> you for a living, Lincoln. The Scalabrini village at Austral. <laughs> Talking's fun when you get the hang of it, don't you think? <laughs> and come back, Paul. Come back, Paul. Come out of there. Oh. All right. Here he comes, that second little dog. Oh, look, there we go. See, this one, of course, you can actually fold up, though. <laughs> Blonde, huh? Very good. What's your name? Any idea? <laughs> huh? oh, no. oh, my God. Come on. What's your first name, please, man? Trish. Trish. Are oh, you very attractive? <laughs> no, kidding. <laughs> but, um... They're all going to have nature. Did I give you a speaking part, did I? No. <laughs> How about you, Enid? What do you think? Is it cut? You sure? Yeah. What do you think, Dave? Want a hint? <laughs> <laughs> Is it still there, John? Still there. Still there. Don't overact, just a simple yes, we'll be fine. Okay. The detective next there. Where are you from originally? Sir? I'm sorry? Sorry. I heard you, I'm just sorry. <laughs> Are you Jewish? No. You're not? Want to be? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Anne, this is your finger ring. You've got to admit this ring hasn't been damaged yet, has it? One, two, three. <laughs> what the hell you done with the ring, Dean? <laughs> well, it's not there? Seriously, it's not there. Oh, sorry. 
really sorry. To seek out new life and new civilizations. To boldly go where no man has gone before. I believe that's a hundred dollar bill. Do the fly, do the fly. <laughs> Say what? No, there's no more down there. It's not a money box. <laughs> I got you over here. You see, Phil, you've got to learn to trust me. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> trust is everything. Without trust, what have you got? Nothing. You want me to cut it? That's the method I'd use, yeah. <laughs> I have recommended him and I'll continue to recommend him. He's very flexible, professional and a great performer. It's Phil Trust Me Cass. Here we go now. Just mind, mind it can't fit in there. It will. Trust me, I'll force it. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Hey Mario, hey. just think if this goes wrong, you'd probably sell more books. <laughs> I heard the rumours about you, mate, but now I know it's true. I was only saying to my wife the other night, I said, you know, Gordon? <laughs> Tell her. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. Oh, it's very I'm good. kidding, I'm kidding. One, two, three! Reaching here? How are you with reptiles? <laughs> do it again. What the hell? Oh, you fright the hell out of me! Don't do that to me! <laughs> but if the bosses are watching, don't fly this bastard back from the <laughs> Tonight, Bank Tricks reveal the sneaky games being played to get more of our cash. And once again, it all gets down to how they calculate the interest we pay. Because what appears to be one thing can be completely different when you take a closer look. Have no doubts, Phil Cass is a great entertainer. Kim, I'd like you to meet uh, Chippy. Chippy, meet Kim. Give me five. Yo, give the duck three. <laughs> yeah, oh, starting to look impressed now. No, believe it or not. Come again, yeah, he's really good, he's really good. Uh, that, I saw that cut and uh, there's not even a sign of it being cut anywhere. Do you think what a fantastic illusion, how he did it. Uh, fabulous, fabulous. Oh, my backside's good now. <laughs> Ridiculous value for money, we would have paid $100 a ticket for that. Well, in my opinion, Phil Cass is the complete entertainer. He, he blends humour and magic into a brilliantly choreographed performance. As an event producer, I know I'm guaranteed maximum audience response when I have Phil on the stage. For me, he's always a guarantee of success.